Hello friends. <coughs> um, we are done with like uh, preparation of alcohols. Now the next step we will go on to reactions of alcohols. Okay. Reactions of alcohol. So uh, before getting into the reaction of alcohols, let's first uh, know about the electronic distribution uh, in alcohols okay so this is our alcohol due to the high electronegativity of the oxygen atom it gets polarized both the OH bond and the CO bond are polarized Okay, so because of the high electronegativity of O atom, oxygen atom, both the bonds, the OH bond and the CO bond are polarized. Okay, <clears throat> this kind of uh, governs the whole reaction chemistry of alcohols, the electronegativity of this O and the charge separation in the OH bond and the CO bond. Alright, so to be more specific, Right, the C uh, carbon atom, sp3 hybridized carbon atom. Okay, this, this gets a delta minus charge, and this gets a delta plus, and so does this carbon atom. It's a delta plus charge. Okay, fine. So the O, the oxygen atom, polarizes both. CO bond and the OH bond. Okay. Fine. Now let's see what happens when this CO bond or the OH bond gets polarized. All right. Now Because this CO bond gets polarized, this oxygen atom acts as a base and a nucleophile. We know what's a nucleophile, okay? <clears throat> so the O, uh, the oxygen atom acts both as a base and a nucleophile. All right. So let's now uh, see a reaction in which this O atom acts as a base. All right. So this is a general alcohol. this is an acid okay now what happens is that this oxygen atom attacks the h atom of the acid and this bond breaks and the electrons are taken up by the anion part all right the h plus part and the anion part so this electron, this bond pair of electrons are taken up by the anion part. Okay, and we are left with this and the conjugate base. Okay, so this was our alcohol. This was our strong acid. 
all right so this is our conjugate base all right so the oxygen atom attacks the hydrogen atom of the acid it takes up the hydrogen atom and a conjugate base is released so we can see that this alcohol acts as a base in this case okay the alcohol acts as a base all right now what happens when this H plus is added to the molecule of alcohol. Now, as we can see, this carbon atom was attached with OH initially. All right, there was some bond polarization. Okay. Now, we have this attached to the carbon atom. This group is more electronegative than the OH group. All right, this OH2 plus group is more electronegative than, uh, sorry, this OH2 plus group, yes, is more electronegative than OH minus. So, the bond polarization in this case is much, much higher than this case. Okay, so now what happens is C plus is more positive in this case. All right. And it is more, this whole group is more susceptible to a nucleophilic attack. Why? Because the carbon atom is now more positive, the nucleophiles will be attracted even more to this carbon atom. All right. And one more point, it is H2O is a better leaving group. Okay. So H2O being a le better leaving group leaves the substrate as soon as a nucleophilic attacks all right so uh, as far as now we are talking about a sin2 reaction okay so the whole uh, chemistry of the reaction is governed by the uh, by two factors both the substrate the concentration of the substrate and that of the nucleophile okay and the whole reaction goes uh, via a transition state rather than going via a carbocation generation all right so uh, i hope you understand this that when an alcohol acts as a base attacks a strong acid extracts its h plus ion and becomes this okay so now this carbon atom gains more positive charge because oh2 plus is a better uh, electron withdrawing group than oh and secondly this H2O is a better living group than OH minus ions. All right. So now let me uh, run this. Okay. So we are left with. this okay now when a nucleophile attacks what happens a nucleophile attacks it has got a it has got a minus charge on it or a pair of lone pairs so this attacks over here oh, sorry it attacks over here the H2 molecule leaves so we are left with
okay fine i hope you understand this this nucleophile attacks this carbon atom as soon as it attacks this carbon atom the h2o molecule is removed as a leaving group okay so this may be an sn2 reaction now um, as i said the alcohols act can act as a base and also a nucleophile okay so uh, this the whole fundamental of this proposition can go to the charge separation then at the oh bond or the co bond due to the higher electronegativity of the oxygen atom all right fine so we saw how an alcohol can act as a as an acid i will see how this alcohol can act as a oh, sorry we saw how this alcohol can act as a base right the o minus and we'll see now how it can act as a nucleophiles 